Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins, hopefully you're having a great holiday season. But right now we've got some incredible Google Earth coordinates that have just come in to my Facebook. Thanks to David James, he made us aware of an incredible discovery and we're gonna get a close look at it right now as we pull in in real time. Again, we've just seen these coordinates a few moments ago, but they struck us right here at Third Phase Moon that they're deeming of sharing right here to the world. Are these ancient building structures, an ancient civilization in Antarctic discovered? It's hard to tell, but it does seem interesting. And then to the right of this, there's something unusual to say the least. A black triangle on a circular base of some sort in close proximity to this building or buildings that stand quite tall. Let's do some measurements here. Uh, the witness who discovered this said they stood about 70 feet. I'm, I'm seeing about 65 feet or so. There's some shadows casted. Let's measure this one up, the black triangle. And it's approximately 65 feet once again. That's pretty interesting that they're the exact same height. It's hard to tell again what's going on unless we had boots on the ground there, but good luck with that. But as we get a close up look at this, something stands out. Is this a TR3B on some kind of circular launching pad or landing pad? My God, Brent, what's your thoughts here? Yes, Blake, Antarctica, it's a mystery. We're finding all sorts of things there. Google Maps is kind of unveiling it. And what we're looking at, it's hard to tell what it is, but we're looking at something that really resembles what was just discovered in Guatemala. Uh, these new structures that has never been seen before. And now this in Antarctica, don't they look the same? Look at the similarities. It's pretty uh, outstanding. It, it would just be great if we had boots on the ground like they do in Guatemala, which they're going to be discovering here and doing a lot of exploration. But we need to get to Antarctica and look at this. If see if this was real, if it is indeed real, it would be quite the phenomenon. It'd be a great discovery. We're watching this once again, and it's weird. You got anomalies in close proximity to each other. You got the city and then this black triangle. If this indeed is some kind of structure, I would have to guess if there was some kind of ancient civilization there before the ice age this would be have have to be hundreds if not maybe over a million years old so the ruins would be quite decrepit obviously these are ancient civilizations if this is indeed what we're looking at again they measure in height 65 feet both uh, the black triangle and these buildings but what is this circular pad in this black triangle it just it's just so bizarre, guys. I want to get your opinions in this live uh, premiere right here on Third Phase Moon. And if you could help out, copy paste this link and share this all over your social media and tell the world and question, is there an ancient civilization that has just been discovered on Google Maps? We're showing you the coordinates so you could do your own research. It's there and I wouldn't be surprised in the next few days that Google Earth might just scrub this. Again, there's some distance between uh, both structures, but it seems that they're in orientation to each other. Now, here's a new video just in from Into Thin Air and an incredible discovery. Check it out. You know that I love looking for these weird anomalies that make absolute no sense when it comes to the sun. Now, these are not meteors. These are not asteroids. Meteors only have tails once they hit the atmosphere of the Earth. So just the sheer fact alone that this thing has a tail eliminates a meteor. Now, very quickly, before we get into a detailed look of this new object we found, I'm just showing you some of the ones I have discovered and posted in the past that have been on many different UFO websites, many different scientific websites, all sorts of people trying to figure out what these things are because there really is no explanation. And again, I hate to call them ships or craft because I personally don't know. Actually, that is a lie. I do love calling them craft, but don't tell anybody. All I do know is that these are rare occasions. This does not happen every day, and I'm just lucky enough to be able to watch these cameras enough to actually capture these things. All right, so let's get back to why we're actually here. Again, 
again, today on Christmas, there was a CME. It was just underneath an M-Class CME, so nothing significant, but again, the significance is what happened after the fact. And it's been theorized many times that when CMEs take place, according to the UFO community, that ships tend to want to be around these areas to either refuel or absorb some sort of energy or are attracted to them. And I can't help but notice that when I capture these anomalies, it tends to be during CMEs. And as hard as it is to capture these things as it is, being able to zoom in and then enhance these images, we get some very interesting detail. As in shapes that don't resemble rocks, but more like highlighted craft, or again, just something other than a space rock. Now, in many cases, things come in threes, and I like to put that in my videos. So first we had the CME, then we had our mysterious object that just so happens to pass through the solar wind or energy of this CME, but there is one more thing I wanna show you that happens literally moments later. Now, you are watching the raw footage of this CME and already what we discussed what happens in the CME with the object, but as I take a free frame and we go up to the northern part of the sun take a look at this and i can't stress enough this is moments after we see that first object i have an enhanced version of it you will see right now yet another odd anomaly either passing by the sun or leaving off the surface of the sun i can't tell which but what i do know is that these things are happening during solar events as in cmes and when the sun is currently released releasing energy. I've captured it time and time again. You can go back in my videos and watch. I will link some of them in the description box. But unless I am told and proved otherwise, this is going down as an anomaly that just should not be there. And I don't see anybody else on the internet posting this stuff. I have great gratitude towards Third Phase of Moon and channels like Goofon that do promote this work that I put out to show the world that this stuff is actually happening. That's right. It's happening. And thank you. And to th Thin air for your eyes peeled on the Lasco cams and exposing NASA in regards to the UFO phenomenon. Why aren't they explaining this to us? I think NASA has stated that they're getting into the UFO hunt. Well, can you explain what Into Thin Air is discovering here? Is this some kind of anomaly, a glitch of the camera? I highly doubt it. The evidence is just overwhelming of what's going on. These are craft or maybe ufos larger than our own planet and into thin air is continuing to bring forth evidence on a weekly basis of these anomalies that can't be denied so i say to anybody out there that says third phase moon is just putting out fake videos we're sharing you the real stuff google earth coordinates and nasa's footage go ask nasa if they're faking it we're just giving you the evidence and Into Thin Air is doing a great job. Brett, what do you make of this new discovery? Is this some kind of StarCraft? Yeah, I kind of remember. Right there. Yeah, Blake, it kind of resembles Superman with a cape behind it. Uh, it this stuff is amazing. Into Thin Air has got the eye on the sun and he's basically breaking these down every week on his channel. And right now I'm looking at the comments. People have all sorts of I ideas what this could be and it's up for uh, up, up for opinion because we don't know what this is but right now we're looking at an anomaly a, a, a phenomenon that keeps happening over the years that we've been here at third phase of moon we've seen hundreds of these strange anomalies now the big question is what in the hell is this yeah some people might speculate that these are just simply meteorites but recently on an episode that into thin air posted and we shared on third phase moon it changed directions if you just remembered that was a few days ago so meteorites just don't change directions on a dime and this one i think would have burned up that close to uh, the sun it seems whatever's going on is more evidence of the possibility that there are ufos that are in close proximity to our star in our solar system harnessing the energy and again this is amazing footage right at the tip of the sun itself. We see more of these craft with these uh, beams behind it. Is that the propulsion? Is that maybe some kind of plasmic beam being highlighted by the light of the sun? 
again, two objects in different places, very similar characteristics. It's hard to say what we're looking at, but I think NASA uh, needs to explain to us, the people, exactly what these are. Or if they don't know, at least admit it. And that would be nice for a change. There's a lot of people out there that think they know everything. And we're claiming we're not experts. We're just sharing you the evidence as fast as possible. That's what we do here at Third Phase Moon. We've got more evidence just in. Guys, here's a report from Sao Paulo. International Airport, Brazil, a UFO approached at A380. It descended as the 380 was descending on the runway. Watch this. Alpha Mike Golf 310 com meia dúzia, livre decolagem 28 direita. Ali decola 28 direita, o Alpha Mike Golf. All right, let's watch it once more. I did some enhancements and I got a really close look at whatever this is. The camera's jittery and everything's in proximity to each other. I believe what we're looking at is authentic. Again, it's hard to tell what it is. Is it some kind of drone? It shouldn't have been there, but you see the airplane cut through the clouds and then this thing approaches from right to left, almost dead center in front of the airplane. Was this almost a near collision? If it's a drone, what the heck is it there in close proximity to a major airliner? I ask you an Airbus, Brent, what's your thoughts? Yeah, it's always pretty sketchy when you have these objects get so close to commercial airliners, uh, I'd freak out, especially if you're a pilot and you're seeing this basically coming at you head on. You got to divert. You got to take action. This is really good stuff. I, I like this close up. It gives a detail. Oh, this thing looks metallic and has a different kind of appendages to it, uh, highlighting its, uh, its structure. It's pretty cool. This is great video, Blake. Absolutely. We got more videos just into third phase of moon. Uh, buckle up. Take a look at this. Broad daylight. Flying saucer encounter. All right. We're doing a little bit of stabilization on this, enhancing it, not uh, messing any with anything except you know, enhancing so we could get a better look at it. I believe what we're looking at is legit footage. We try our best not to put out any uh, hoaxes out there. We're just trying to share with you things. We don't know what it is. And right now we have no idea what we're looking at here. We could speculate that this could be some kind of balloon, but as we look at this a little closer with stabilization and more enhancement, this thing's pretty stable in the air. There's a little oscillation. There's some ring of lights around it. Kind of the characteristics of what Bob Lazar stated that the sports model was a little unstable and it undulated just so much. But again, I have to say it's pretty stable in the sky as it uh, goes behind that power line there antenna. I'm not exactly sure, Brent. What's your thoughts here? Yeah, is this thing rotating? It's so curious. Here's, here's a great close up right there. And we see again, multiple colors, silver. Is this thing again, metallic? If it is, what's keeping it up in the sky? This is very interesting. It's a UFO. It's unidentified. We don't know what it is, but man, this one's a curious one. Yeah, you mentioned that you saw some indicator that this craft was spinning. I, I'm trying to see if this is some kind of optical illusion. But as we get a little closer here, it's off at the distance, but let's bring it up to the point. Is it passed behind the line there? Again, authentic video, broad, broad daylight. This is what people want to see. And the people on the ground, you could hear that they were going la loose. Uh, there's a strange light, there's a craft, and then it passes. What is that, a water tower? I'm not exactly sure, but is this some kind of craft? It has this dome on the top. You have these white lights surrounding it. It seems pretty stable. Is it rotating? I'm, if it is, it's very slow at the moment. There is that undulation there. 
but then you see these other white lights that pop and we see a reveal of some kind of orange and a little bit of white on top man this one's a this one's a weird one we're not seeing any uh, tether or anything revealing that this is simply some kind of hot air balloon or a blimp a parachute don't think so no drones i'm not seeing any prop propeller blades uh, i'm telling you i just don't know what it is again this close-up photograph really catches my interest that we did a lot of enhancements to bring out the detail on that but again this is something unidentified guys what do you think is going on in this video so those are some of the ufo videos just in we've got a lot more coming in the next day so buckle up for that but let me tell you we've got some major news that we want to announce but first take a look at this trailer if you haven't seen it above top secret broke the internet on amazon itunes one of the top documentaries around the world and we're working on its trilogy but watch above top secret if you haven't seen it here's a quick trailer we'll be right back if the crash retrievals are truth then all bets are off It's very hard for people to get their minds around where the real power is. And it's not at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The reality is something much more stark. They've been working on this for 60, 70, perhaps 80 years. The reason why the government is talking about these UFOs now, they're getting ready for the next level of war. Are these objects a national security concern? They're proffering a narrative of a national security threat that doesn't exist. I call them alien reproduction vehicles. They're made by private corporations somewhere on this planet. Technology from Roswell from 1947 has largely been held back from us. Portal technology, teleportation, whatever you can imagine, it's already been done. The biggest secrets are not the zero point energy and electric gravitics. It's the science of consciousness. All their communication systems are moving through the consciousness field and are thought actuated. The people at the CIA call it WSFM, weird science and frickin' magic. The transdimensional interstellar technology will benefit humanity. That has been tremendous disinformation. The media is keeping secrets with the government. These are lethal, vicious people. And I'm focused on exposing the extraordinary technologies that they would want to keep secret. No aspect of life on Earth will be unaffected by it. So there it is, Above Top Secret. I urge you, if you haven't seen it, it's on Amazon Prime, it's streaming. Again, it is making records in 2022 one of the top documentaries or basically the top documentary in general on amazon so it's exciting stuff and our trilogy ufo endgame to disclosure it's wrapped we've done the edit and it's being ingested into the major streaming services across the planet and it's going to be available early next year i think march we're going to give you updates and we also will be dropping the trailer for that very very soon so i urge you right now if you haven't seen above top secret go check it out and ufo endgame to disclosure right around the corner in the new year super stoked we also want to say that the year 2022 was a little tough let me tell you the people the haters out there let me say there's a lot of them and they like to talk and they'd like to talk about things and spread lies. It's, it's very interesting. The debunker or the supposed debunker that lies to prove their own story, whether the truth is what it is. A debunker will actually lie to make their debunk logical. That's even worse than a hoaxer. These people want to throw a lot of names out. Lou Elizondo called us the felon five. Greer, Green Street, you remember that. Oh, don't worry, we're going to be covering that in UFO Endgame to Disclosure. And there's a lot of other name calling out there. Grifters, hoaxers, what have you. These people want to act like they're your friend. And next thing you know, they're at it again. It's, it's interesting. And the haters, if you want to keep on hating, that's fine with us. But 
you know what? Maybe 2023 could be a new year. We'll see. But there's a lot of people out there that wanted to destroy Third Phase of Moon. And we're continuing to be strong. We've got a huge documentary. Again, dropping. We continue to receive the evidence from around the world. We're on the front line. And let me tell you, it's, it's exciting. We've got a team as well. James C. Goodall, Michael Schratt, Richard Giordano from Goofon, Dark Hour Paranormal, Michael Roser. We've got Dr. J from Dr. J Radio Live and Doc Skinner from 1028 Productions. We've also got Amy from Alien Girl 111. She's doing a great job and we're happy that she's part of the team. She's chiming in with her opinions and also Let's not forget Into Thin Air. He's got a great YouTube channel and he's making major discoveries of what NASA doesn't want to share with us. Apollo, Asteria, the list goes on. So our team is strong. And let's not forget Alex Gershowitz. And you know what? Even Avi Loeb. We talked to him. Tim Burchett, Congressman. We have a huge team. We're here to bring disclosure. Don't forget that, everybody. And if you enjoy the content, please subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Now, let's have some fun. Here's a music video we did. They won't show us proof. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you real soon. What may be legitimate counterintelligence threats to places that we have or bases or installations or security threats to our platforms. So there's, um, when I say unexplained, I mean everything from too little, too little data uh, to we simply, the data that we have doesn't point us towards an explanation. Uh, but we'll go wherever the data takes us. Again, we've made no assumptions about what this is or isn't. When you say we can't explain, everything that you can't explain is in a bucket called data. Is that correct?
regarding the amount of stream incident. Uh, all I can speak to is, you know, what's within my cognizance of the UAP task force, and we have not looked at that.